Submitting a job to a cluster often requires stating the amount of memory that your job needs. To find that out, you can use the Unix time command. Normally, you use time command for showing how long your code took to run. But you can tune it to show other information, including maximum residence set size or max RSS, which is the peak memory used by your program. But there is a caveat. The default time being executed is the one that included in the Unix shell, for example, bash, which usually doesn't support any options and just shows timings. You need to use the complete path to new time command. In most Unix systems, that would be slash usr, slash bin, slash time. But you cannot rely on that on clusters. For example, running this command on our cluster gram complains with no such file or directory. The solution is using Unix switch command for finding the right path first. Then you can copy and paste the whole path, add dash V option for having a verbose output, and finally add your program at the end. Here you can find max RSS in kilobytes. If you find yourself caught in doing this frequently, you can create an alias for using new time by default. After that, you can type just time as the command to do the trick. You may append the alias command to your .bashrc for making it persistent after each login. That's all there is to it.